Hello there, and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our Scripture Breakdown Ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today is from John 3, verse 3. He says, Jesus answered and said unto him, Most assuredly, I say unto you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. I repeat, Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly, I say unto you, except a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Now, I want to divide the scripture into three parts. The first part says, Jesus said, Jesus answered and said to him, that means in the course of conversation with Zachariah, Jesus answered and said unto him, said, most assuredly, I say to you, that is, in all sureness, in all his mind and body and spirit and a hundred percent endorsement and this is a known fact this is heaven's ticket this is heaven's visa it says unless one is born again now the key word here is born again what do we understand by being born again being born again is accepting Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Being born again is being able to embrace the person of Jesus Christ. Being born again is understanding that there is a Lord who is the person of Jesus Christ and there is a God ultimately and Jesus is the Son of God. Being born again is accepting the Lordship of the person of Jesus Christ. Being born again is going after the precepts and the status of God. Being on born again is also taking away the old man. Because the Bible says, according to Corinthians, that if anyone be in Christ, he's a new creation. All things are passed away and all things have become new. So if you embrace Christ, all things have become new. Being born again is accepting salvation, the message of salvation. Being born again is accepting the the message of redemption. Being born again is understanding the resurrection of the person of Jesus Christ. Being born again is the renewal of your mind. Being born again is understanding the growth pattern of every born again Christian which starts from Um, being born in the spirit being born anew in the spirit that is a new birth of the spirit of which there is growth from from infanthood onto teenagehood then ultimately adulthood being on on understanding that that there is milk to be to be taken as a young christian irrespective of your physical age and you begin to nurture yourself and begin to be nurtured by others and be groomed and as you experience trials and tribulations as you begin to sojourn in the journey with God you understand the things of the Lord the deep things of Christ and you have revelational knowledge of the person of Jesus Christ and as you sojourn further you be, as you sojourn further in the journey with God you begin to experience all that God wants you to experience ultimately to the fulfillment of your destiny of the of the purpose of which you came to this world ultimately to the glory of God and ultimately for the making of heaven the last bit is he cannot see the kingdom of God so explicitly this scripture is saying that that unless a man is born again he cannot see the kingdom of god unless a man is born again he cannot move from here into the manifold presence of god in the kingdom 
of heaven. Now I pray that God gives us a revelation of spirit that we'll be able to understand this word in every way that it is spelled, in every way that our spirit deems it fit to, per to perceive it. I want to pray that God continues to help us if we're born again to live in the grace and if we're not to be able to hear and heed and accept Jesus as our personal Lord and Savior. I thank you so much for listening and God bless, God bless in Jesus' name.